One thing you might have noticed in the online world is there are lots and lots of scams. I've covered a lot on this channel, but this by far is the biggest scam imaginable, costing someone millions of dollars. And on top of that as well, the entire thing, it, it, it's just, it's sad. It's sad cringe. I think the word cringe is very much overused, but I really can't find another two words to describe this than sad cringe. So you might have noticed in the streamer world, there are, there are loads of collabs, right? For example, years ago, you had Ninja and Drake doing that stream that was just really kind of awkward. He's on it. Noise. Wow. But now you have a lot of people in the music scene trying to get into streaming. You've got pretty successful people, like for example, Snoop Dogg, who just absolutely carries every single lobby he's in. And he definitely, definitely has never accidentally left his stream running for a day straight. Am I still streaming? But recently, a lot of rappers have actually tried to get into the streaming scene, and usually how they do that is by collabing with already existent prominent creators. So a good example to kick this story off is Kai Sinat. Now, he is a huge streamer, and he had the rapper 21 Savage on. And then they gambled over who would win a game of Madden, which caused Kai to lose $300,000, which led to this clip of Kai getting so angry, he trashed his entire setup. Fucking dumbass fucking dumbass fucking game, bro. Get out of here, bro. Done with all this shit, bro. I lose every fucking time, bro. Every fucking time I'm losing. Now, obviously, I don't have to be the one to tell you that $300,000 to Kai Sinat is basically pocket change. He probably makes more than double that in a month. But still, you've got to be a bit of a react dandy. You need to get some kind of return. So playing it up that, you know, you lost so much money, fair enough. I can lose $300,000, but if I make it onto the top post of live stream fails, we'll, we'll call it even. One of the funniest outcomes of that as well, instead of 21 Savage being like, it, it, it's all right, bro, everything will be fine. He instead got up, filmed his POV, and you can just see Kai sat in the corner and he looks beyond depressed. You broke everything, bro. What the I was gonna pull up on you. <laughs> Say that, that. Three hundred thousand, bro. <laughs> it's not funny, bro. <laughs> I'm dead ass, bro. 300,000. Now, 21 Savage has been with other streamers before. It's usually gambling streams. But then something happened. A character that I've talked about many times on the Power Live channel, Aiden Ross. Aiden Ross got involved with 21 Savage and the outcome... <laughs> Now, they didn't jump straight into the gambling. Aiden had like a bit of an icebreaker with 21 Savage, like for example, him showing himself being swatted with body cam footage. But then at around the 30 minute mark, they start playing NBA 2K. So they had a single game of NBA 2K and $100,000 was on the line. Not $300,000, but still quite a lot of money. More money than most people will ever have in their bank account in their entire life. So then Aiden won $100,000, he got the bag, but then they did double or nothing and Aiden won again. So he got $200,000 and then, again, because they're both insanely rich people, they do another double or nothing. So $200,000 turns into $400,000. And at this point, it is, it's is—it's not looking good for 21 Savage. He's being absolutely rinsed by Aiden. So Aiden, for the sake of content, actually gives him an out. Uh, I'll tell you what, you owe me 250 instead of 388. You quit right now. Right. Yeah. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do too. I'm gonna buy one of your people a car. So if you quit right now, he got $150,000 discount and 21 was like, yeah, fair enough. What's nine plus 10, 21. Now that should be the end of it. A good honorable game of NBA 2K and you know, they cut their losses. This is where the scam starts. So after the NBA stuff, they move on to a game called High Card. Now this is where you get a deck of cards, preferably a brand new deck of cards that haven't been tampered with. And then each of you pulls a single card from the deck and whoever pulls the higher cards, they win. So it is essentially the most simple card game possible. It's not blackjack where you need to keep a mental note of all the players next to you. And it's not poker where you basically need to remember an entire Street Fighter combo list. So they started off the bet with $1,000 per card and then eventually going up to $10,000 per card. Now, originally Aiden, he wanted to play dice, but 21 Savage, he was dead set on doing high card. So then Aiden basically says that, you know, if you win, you're going to change the money you owe from $250,000 to just $50,000. Keep in mind as well, just to paint the picture that these are like chronic gambling addicts. Before that as well, they were doing this like Omegle thing where they would get random viewers to basically rate them saying which one was hotter and they played that game as well from one thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars uh let me ask you a question hypothetically speaking if you had a game with one of us who would it be two thousand so 21 Savage then pulled six face cards in a row, which means he basically flat out won. But how did 21 Savage have better odds and more intelligence than Bradley Cooper when he took the pill in Limitless? But before that, 
I have some amazing news. I did an event last year called the Insomnia Gaming Festival in Birmingham. It was a great experience. I decided to make him a custom plushie of his TV head sona. He had his assistant come up to me and say he doesn't take fan gifts. So good, in fact, I'm doing it again. And definitely not because they are paying me hundreds of thousands of dollars to do so. So I'm going to be in Birmingham between the 29th and 31st of March. So that's essentially me and Insomnia for three days doing a meet and greet. Now, I know many Pyro fans don't like leaving the house. I, I need some kind of incentive. So we are selling exclusive merch at the meet and greet as well. This will be for Insomnia 72. And also on top of that, because I'm feeling extra, extra generous, we're going to do a free giveaway. This includes three pairs of weekend tickets. And on top of that as well, a free hat from the brand new merch collection. All the details for the giveaway are down in the description. But yep, yeah, I'm going to be in Birmingham between the 29th and 31st of March for the Insomnia Gaming Festival. I do want to apologize ahead of time that it does take place in Birmingham. Uh, I cannot guarantee your safety. Well, Aiden Ross went over the deck and he noticed that every single face card, the cards with value, are actually marked with a fingernail. So all the face cards and aces were marked, which are basically the cards you need to pull to win. So 21 Savage would know which ones to pull and which ones not to pull. If you didn't know, by the way, that's basically cheating. That is like saying to the dealer when you're playing blackjack, uh, can, can I just look at that card before you serve it me? And, and, and if not, can you give it to that guy? And then obviously when Aiden realizes the confrontation after that, it wasn't even a confrontation. It was just awkward silence. Oh, God damn. Now, thankfully, Kai Sinat was here to save the day, not to pay the money back or get 21 Savage to pay the money back, but just being a react dandy on stream. Man, why you sound sad, bro? I'm on stream right now. But the funniest thing is, after all of this, 21 Savage then had the balls to post an Instagram story, basically trying to claim his innocence. He said, here, as you can say, lame uh, word I can't say, scratching cards and blaming it on me. That fuck word I can't say. Aiden trying to call me a scammer. Let that Jew know that he's blackballed from all the rap games. Rat emoji. Now, a lot of streamers started to weigh in here, probably because this is the biggest Twitch happening in the past, I don't know, 24 hours. I mean, to be fair, I think the only news we've had the past week on Twitch is this and then Pokimane streaming on YouTube. But XQC actually reacted to it and he thought that the dice that they were going to play, the game that Aiden wanted to play originally where they threw die, the die might have been loaded. Seven. Oh, ah, oh, nah. Wait, y'all can't see the camera. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, they had fucking dices and cards. Remember, we stopped what the fuck is going on? So I like to imagine the scenario that 21 Savage actually had a backup plan that was also rigged just in case they couldn't play the rigged card game. Now that, funnily enough, is uh, the lower end of the scam <laughs> because Aiden Ross got himself involved in another scam a couple days later. And this one, I, I don't even know if I can call it a scam. It's basically just robbery. It's, it's a really sad robbery. So Aiden lost a lot of money because of 21 Savage and he probably thought, no, nope, you know what? We're not going to have any more rappers on the stream anytime soon. No, nope, never mind. Let's bring on Playboy Card. I don't care. It got me the top post on live stream fails. Bring him in. Bring him in. Now, the stream with 21 Savage and Aiden, that was around two and a half hours long. The stream with Playboy, <laughs> it's six minutes long. That is, that's not even a stream. I have to make my videos at least eight minutes to basically get any money from YouTube. So a six minute stream, it, it might as well just be an extended TikTok. So Aiden, in this really sad attempt to basically buy someone's friendship and to get as much clout as possible, he offered Playboy Carti two million dollars which he said himself to have playboy on his stream for a single hour and then about six minutes into the hour playboy basically just takes the money and then walks away so you, you see this point in the stream where aiden basically gives playboy carty a hug he paid two million dollars for that hug by the way you know it's, it's a lot amount of money dear i got you bro um from me to you yeah i got you bro Oh, you do hugs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It wasn't even like tip to tip or anything. It was just a complete waste of money. Now, there are some things I do want to clear up here. Aiden Ross did say himself on Twitter that it was $2 million. That was a lie. But again, no one's really surprised by that. So instead of $2 million, this was around $250,000. And then apparently Aiden and his security ended up muting the stream and then confronting Playboy Carty's team. 2024 music. You leave right now? Yeah. All right, hold on, let me mute real quick. 
And even though Playboy did take that money, Aiden and his team managed to get around, I think, half the money back, like, off stream. Aiden, on top of that as well, apparently cancelled some private jet that he was going to get as a flex to get Carty and his team back home. So overall, Aiden has been scammed the best part of a million dollars within, like, three days, which has to be a world record apart from people with an actual chronic gambling addiction. Now, like I've said in this video and loads of previous videos as well, I have been, like, really critical of, you know, stuff that Aiden does. I do still kind of feel bad for him, you know, setting up this whole thing, paying an insane amount of money, and then they basically walk out six minutes into the stream and then demand a full payout. That sucks. And on top of that as well, a couple days earlier with uh, 21 Savage, him basically having all the cards counted and like marked with little fingernails. For someone that is insanely rich, it is still like, it's hard to not feel sorry for him. Now, another opinion I have as well, and it's really hard to explain this without sounding like I'm pocket watching, you know, like talking about someone's financials. Because believe me, a, a lot of streamers do that to other streamers. It, it is embarrassing to watch. I think what Aiden might be trying to do at the minute is turning this into a bit of a W. Obviously, he's lost an insane amount of money and no amount of clips or shorts or, or videos or live streams are going to recuperate that money on their own. But when you have such an insane amount of money, money doesn't really matter that much anymore. It's clout. And this has basically put him on the center stage. So even though it's a horrible thing to happen to anyone, he's still getting a lot of notoriety from this. But yeah, overall, like blowing two million, it, it's just... It's sad. It, it's sad. It's it's the one situation where I actually, I genuinely feel bad for him. Because all that happened is he walked in for six minutes. He said music 2024 and then left. And he was even dressed up like, like Kanye when he went on Alex Jones' show. Like you could not ID the guy. Probably because he didn't want to be associated at all with Aiden. It, it's, I, I feel bad for him. for your actions, and God may not be so merciful.